and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. If you are new here, my name is Kira and I'm showing you how to make easy and delicious cocktails at home. So today I'm going to be making a cocktail that has been highly requested in the comments of my previous videos, especially under the comments of my last video where I made a Moscow Mule. What am I making, you ask? I am making a dark and stormy. Yes, that is right, we are finally making a dark and stormy. So before we get into the history and the method of making this delicious cocktail, I would really appreciate it if you took a second to click subscribe to my channel, that would really help me out a lot. Now, let's get into the history. Okay, so what is a dark and stormy? Well, it is a very old cocktail. Apparently it originated after the First World War. It is the unofficial drink of Bermuda and it is called a dark and stormy for a few reasons. I think it originally comes from the layered look that you'll get from this cocktail. The legend has it that the dark and stormy name was coined by a sailor who after drinking the cocktail commented that the cloudy dark color of it was the exact same color of a cloud that only only a fool would sail under, which I think is a fantastic way for a name of a cocktail to come about. That is just one of those super interesting pieces of trivia that I like to know about when I'm drinking a cocktail. It's one of the few cocktails out there that actually has a patent or a trademark on the name. So technically speaking, if you are making a dark and stormy and you're serving it in a bar or wherever, you have to legally use Gosling's Black Seal Bermuda Dark Rum. And Gosling's have actually gone so far as to win uh, legal battles against bars and different places that were not making the dark and stormy properly. So there is just a little bit of trivia for you about the dark and stormy cocktail. But let's get into the ingredients. We are of course using rum for this cocktail and for the purposes of this video and for making an official trademarked, registered, whatever the hell you want to call it, an official dark and stormy, so I decided to pick up a bottle of Gosling's Black Seal Bermuda Black Rum so that I could make an official dark and stormy. You don't have to pick up this rum to make this drink and enjoy it. If you have a full bodied, aged, dark rum, you're going to be absolutely fine. But like I said, I wanted to give you the full experience so I picked up the Gosling's Black Seal Rum. I have not tried this yet, I'm very excited to taste it, but we will get to that later. So in terms of ingredients, we are starting, of course, with our Black Gosling's Rum. We're also going to be using some ginger beer. I've picked up a fresh bottle of the Fever Tree Ginger Beer. Just to know that you are not using ginger ale in this video. Ginger beer and ginger ale might sound quite similar, but they're actually very different. They taste differently and they will just have a very different experience in the cocktail. So we are looking for ginger beer for this cocktail. And we're also going to be using some fresh lime juice. I have some fresh limes that I only picked up earlier today and I'm going to squeeze those. And then we're also going to be using a little bit of fresh mint for a garnish. Oh my god, this smells so good. Okay, so now that we have all of our ingredients ready, let's get into actually making the cocktail. So the Dark and Stormy is a highball cocktail, which means it is going to be served in a highball glass. So any tall glass like this is going to be perfect and we're going to fill it up with a little bit of ice. So I think this should be enough ice. Now we're going to go ahead and add our ginger beer. I'm going to open this up. I really love including ginger beer in cocktails because it has such a nice kick to it. It adds that like heat and warmth to a cocktail and I think it's gonna work really, really well with this. So we're gonna go ahead and add 45 mils of ginger beer. That works out at 1.5 ounces. Let's pop that in there. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and add our lime juice. I bought one of these like super heavy duty squeezers. Oh my God, this is so much better than my last squeezer. That's so satisfying. Okay, so we have 15 mils of fresh lime juice. I'm gonna pop that in on top. And I'm gonna give this a stir now. Perfect. I'm also gonna to top this up with ice as well. Okay, so now for the fun part, we're gonna add in the rum. Like I said, I have tried the Gosling's black rum before. Whoa, it's really full and like rich smelling. Oh, it smells really sweet. I have to be honest, I'm not a big rum drinker. It's really quite low down on my list of favorite spirits, but I have had some amazing rum cocktails, so I do have high hopes for this. I'm gonna try it though and see what it tastes like. Okay, I'm gonna have a little try this and see what it tastes like. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, it's like spicy. Oh, that's nice. It's really rich. I feel like that would be amazing as like a dessert, like a rum cheesecake. So we're gonna do 60 mils of this Gosling's rum and then we're gonna chuck that in. Oh my God, look at the color. It's 
how excited. I'm gonna really quickly garnish this with some mint. You guys know how I garnish my mint at this point. You give it a little slap and then a roll to release all of the oils and then let's pop this in. Oh my God, it's done. So there you have it. That is the dark and stormy. I'm gonna hold it up so you can get a good look at it. As you can see, there's this beautiful gradient happening with the cocktail. That is where the dark and stormy name comes from. I really do think this is such a well-named cocktail because when you look at this gorgeous gradient, it makes you think of like churning, brewing storm clouds and like a storm coming. And obviously here in Ireland, we have our fair share of storms and crazy weather. But I think Bermuda is another place that has a lot of storms as well. So it makes sense that it's their official cocktail. So that is the Dark and Stormy cocktail. I have to say I'm very excited to try this. So if you want to join me over on my cocktail chair, we will do the official taste test and I'll let you know. Okay, so it is time for the taste test. I have not tried this yet. I'm very, very excited to. It looks absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed trying the rum. I thought it had a gorgeous, like spicy, rich flavor. A lot nicer than a lot of other rums that I've tried. So how did I do? Did I make a nice dark and stormy? Let's taste it and find out. Cheers. Upon first tasting, it is extremely strong. And that is because what I am tasting is all of the rum that's sitting at the top. So I'm gonna grab my spoon, give it a stir, and I'm gonna give it another taste because I feel like even though you're displaying it with the beautiful gradient, it's probably meant to be tasted when it's been stirred a little bit better. So let's give it a stir. Okay, taste test 2.0, let's go. gosh, it's delicious. Do you know what this reminds me of? It actually reminds me of a Long Island iced tea. Now I know a Long Island iced tea has like five different types of alcohol in it, but I believe one of those is rum and the rum taste in the highball glass is reminding me of a Long Island iced tea. It is so delicious though. When you give it a good stir, all of the ingredients are really, really well mixed. It has a lovely kick of the ginger beer really really delicious but the lime juice kind of adds that little bit of like tart sweetness and then the rum is gorgeous i'm really glad i actually went ahead and picked up the gosling's rum because i have to say it makes a really really good cocktail i'd be interested to try a dark and stormy using a different rum but i feel like it probably isn't going to be as good as the original so i'm really glad that i actually stuck with the traditional method mm. I'm so impressed with this. I really do get the summer cocktail feel from this. It's really, really refreshing, even though it has, you know, the ginger beer and the rum, it's actually really cooling and refreshing. And I would imagine it would be fabulous in like a tropical climate. But then at the same time, if it was really stormy out, I feel like the kick of the ginger beer and the rum would kind of warm you up. So. I feel like it works in all climates. Once again, I feel the need to thank you lovely people in the comments for suggesting that I make a dark and stormy. It's not that it's not a popular cocktail here in Ireland, but rum-based cocktails tend to not be on my radar as much. So thank you for bringing this to my attention. It also has to be noted that this is really easy to make. There's no shaking required. You can build it directly in the glass. It means that it's a great cocktail to make if you're entertaining people, whether you're having people over for a little summer soiree or you just want to make a couple of them at home and you have a craving for ginger beer and you want something really simple that you can whip together. So if you have any particular tips for making a dark and stormy or for perfecting the recipe, please let me know in the comments because you always seem to have really interesting little nuggets of cocktail information. So there you have it. That was my attempt at making a dark and stormy for the very first time. I have to say I do think I did a very good job. It is a very easy cocktail but I feel like getting the proper ingredients, going for the goslings, rum really made the difference. If you would like to see more cocktail videos, I will link a playlist up here. I have so many other fun cocktail recipes. If you are looking for some fun and easy ones that you can make at home, there are loads up here for you. And as always, if there are any other cocktails that you would like to see me make next, please do let me know in the comments. It's where I get most of my suggestions and ideas from because I love making the cocktails that you wanna see. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Cheers!